Skincare and cosmetic products don't work, a phrase we heard a lot online, product like this or any type of cosmetic product in the drugstore is just a waste of money, a scam and does no benefit for your skin. Hey everyone, this is Mo from Mo Skin Lab. I'm a pharmacist, toxicologist, and safety assessor of personal care product. In this channel, we love to talk about skincare, ingredient, and their safety. If that sounds interesting to you, please don't forget to join my community. And I've graded my channel to accept a membership. So if you've seen my content before, or this is your first video, and you consider it useful, please don't forget to join my membership list to support my channel directly and my content. So if you did a quick Google search online and just wrote the phrase, cosmetics and skincare don't work, you will see tons of re results from article to a very detailed uh, conspiracy theory videos to some expert in the field of cosmetics or dermatology saying cosmetic don't work, you need actually prescription drug for your skin to see result. And actually I took it upon myself to do a little bit of experiment to let you know that skincare actually does work does work slowly for some times but the accumulation of those small improvements over time will give you great results so for the past two days i didn't do any skincare on my face and then for this video i split my face in half on the right side i didn't do any type of skincare i just washed my face with water for the left side i used my regular skincare i washed it with a cleanser uh, the rose calming cleanser then i applied my mist from alazova skin and also then my exfoliant from decal then a, a the hydrating serum for me which is the uh, hapca from uh, niche beauty and also did a layer of preparation b5 and sealed it all in with a moisturizer from Geek & Gorgeous, the hydration station. And then what I did is, before I started my skincare routine, I took a uh, close-up picture of my skin. So the experiment went like this. After I did my cleansing, I took three close-up pictures of my skin using my camera and the, for three points, which is the tip of the nose, the tip of the cheek, and my forehead on both sides. As you can see, I will put the picture here, and those pictures were immediately after cleansing. The right side, which represent uh, no type of cleanser, just water, and the left side, you see uh, the side which I used cleanser on. Immediately you see a little bit of differences when it comes to the blackhead appearance. They are not completely gone, especially on my nose. I have a, a chronic issue of blackheads that I need a consistent skincare to keep their appearance in check. As you can see uh, on the left side, the appearance is a little bit better compared to the right side and, just, and that is just the cleanser. After using the skincare routine that I explained, I took another three pictures after 20 minutes of applying those uh, product and those uh, product uh, that I mentioned before uh, in the specific order and waited five minutes or around three minutes between each one to allow my skin to absorb it really well. Then took three pictures on the same points uh, from the tip of the nose, tip of the cheek and the forehead from both sides. I put the picture on the right side with no skincare and on the left in, uh, for the skincare side. As you can see, on the left and on the right, there are quite noticeable difference when you use something that is very close and very, let's say, microscopic like the camera. And you can see the skin is hydrated. On the right side, especially on the cheek area and also on the forehead, you can see streaks of dryness. The skin is tight. The skin is looking for hydration for anything to support the skin barrier because water although doesn't mix with oil but just cleansing your skin with water can in a way a little bit disrupt your skin barrier and lead to more uh, dehydration because the evaporation of the water you applied will uh, take away some of the water that exists or some of the hydration that exists in your skin barrier so you need to um reapply a product that can help retain the uh, retain the existing hydration and give the skin the hydration that it lost when your skin was cleansed whether with water or a cleanser so from this small experience we understand that actually cosmetic and skincare work 
and they have been working for a long time and that is why it's a flourishing industry so use this video as a quick uh, i told you so uh, for anyone telling you that is skincare doesn't work or skincare is a scam any type of skincare no matter how basic you don't need to do my skincare routine that is considered for some people extensive and for other is simple just take care of your skin because as any type of organ our skin needs to be taken care of from cleansing it from the all the debris the pollution the sebum the dead skin cells to hydrate hydrating the skin to allow the skin function at its best because a hydrated skin works optimally and then protecting your skin from the uv radiation by applying an spf that is all the thing that you need but if you decided to have a or you are dealing with a skin concern an extra product that target that skin concern can be a good option and it could be a drugstore product it doesn't have to be expensive it can be anything that is affordable accessible and give you result it doesn't have to be a prescription or medical grade which is a total bs and just incorporating into that skin is just like taking a supplement or go for a jog or go to the or going for the gym so that was my video guys i hope you guys enjoyed it please let me know in the comments what type of content i should produce next and as always stay safe and i see you in the next one goodbye